My name is Philip Seberg. I'm from Naperville, Illinois. I'm a longtime Republican. I liked how Ronald Reagan spoke so optimistically about our future. I volunteered for the first George Bush. I didn't like Trump's misogyny and lying, so I wrote myself in in 2016. But like a lot of people, I expected or at least hoped that Trump would pivot to leading rather than constantly bullying and campaigning. I've been sorely disappointed. I think that common decency should be a requirement for election. Never thought I'd have to say that. The lies, insults, and giving into dictators are all disqualifying in my book. I've disagreed with presidents before, but I'd never thought that one of them was putting his personal wealth and interests above that of my country. I can't say that anymore. Sometimes we put up with a bully when that person is doing an otherwise good job. That is not the case here. Trump continues to surprise me with his ineptitude. He got out of the Miller investigation with just a slap on the wrist, and I thought that maybe he would learn his lesson. He then tried to use his influence with Ukraine to get reelected and then got impeached instead. Since then, he has proven no leader in the fight against COVID-19. His CDC gives one set of guidance, and he contradicts it in word and in practice every day. He has stumbled in his reaction to the whole George Floyd and Black Lives Matter protests, his reaction to Russian payments for U.S. deaths in Afghanistan, proved that he has either got a callous disregard for U.S. interests and U.S. lives, or he is woefully ignorant or both. Please join me in seriously considering voting for Joe Biden this year.